Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> All right, so this is the first time it has been super requested, and actually, this video has 33 million views. Yeah, go say the this name. This is Kekai Bautista and her song Bakitna Ba Mahal Kita. I think. <laughs> I don't know, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yep. The, the... Oh, so good, and they brought tears to my eye. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> it's so dramatic. Have me a bit of drama. Ooh, that was really loud. You know, it's gonna be a ballad when he has the world mahalkita in the middle. So that means I love you. That's right. I wonder what this means. Bakit? I should have loved you. Bakit naba. Wish. Okay, okay, okay. Pause. You know those buses? I, I, we, we used to have some similar buses like that back home. Yep. <laughs> and you would get them to like go to different states. They oh, were that's true. Edgier. Elite. Yeah. <laughs> they were elite. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I thought they were their shit back then. You know, like, and they were decorated in the inside with like Santos. Yeah, and, like, <laughs> well, no, no, no. Th those, yeah. were, those were maybe the... Like the pimped up ones, you know? <laughs> the ones that had like flurry cordons at the Dude, top. That one looks good. That one looks like it has air conditioning. Mm. I'm talking about those ones, uh, not not the sort of the city one. The no, city no, no, ones I'm thinking... are fucking a trip, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not talking the, look, the city you know, ones. I wouldn't call them elite. You know the coaches, the coaches that you used to get like in like national. Yeah, yeah uh, like here you call them stagecoach, don't you? Uh huh. Well, like the national trip ones. Like there were some that were like a, a what is it called? What are they? Uh, luxury ones that were pimped up inside, and they had like a tassel curtains at the top. <laughs> <laughs> and they had air conditioning though. <laughs> and those ones were actually you, you like they weren't agency wise, they were more like independent ones. Yeah. <laughs> but but they were just as good, you know. And they and they and the for like the 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 what is it called? A tapiceria. Uh, the tapestry. <laughs> yeah, the tapestry in the in the bus would be like velvety with like the name. Proper bougie, <laughs> right? The word bougie <laughs> would fit perfectly. Yeah. No, the word extra. <laughs> yeah, and I don't like using that type of lingo, but yes, it was very bougie. <laughs> it was very pimped up. I loved it. Yeah, they yeah, it they were elite. Yeah. Uh, it seems you guys have them over there as well. <laughs> you know what? It was the best traveling like eight hours in them. <laughs> we would sometimes so have to good. tour in them. We would hire one and then we would. Go everywhere. <laughs> Pimped. It would look like shit at the end of the trip because it's just cookies kids on everywhere. the floor. Kids everywhere. <laughs> Never mind. Yes, let's go. Little trip memory lane down memory Absorbs you, doesn't it? It's... That is such a lovely sentence. My tears are my only witness. Girl, breathe. That was, all, that was all one breath. Can I can I look look at this? Look at this. Oh, it's stressful to see it. <laughs> well, it's actually really clever. Really clever economy of breath because the less breath you take, the more you're putting pressure on yourself to maintain that delicacy on the line itself. Because it's also so a very tense line, right? It's, like it's a... not just tense, but it's very delicate. Like, exactly, the, especially the way that she's delivering it is so very breathy and very tender, and it's very hanging on a line, hanging on a very fine line. The last and, thread, okay. perhaps. Exactly, and obviously the lyricism of the of the song itself it implies that this is the a, a very tender emotion 
for the song, right? So the delivery of it has to be just as delicate. And so it's a very clever way of physically putting yourself under distress so you are able to deliver the line more clearly emotionally speaking. Right. Yeah. Good point, mate. Uh, no idea. Well, I don't know if it's a point. It's just technique. <laughs> that's, that's what I mean. That's, like... just, that's how I would approach it. If, if I had to physically put myself under distress, then I wouldn't have to fake the emotion because you're naturally already there. Right, you're like biohacking yourself into Basically. thinking you're on the street. Yes. Because you're literally putting yourself on the street. Yes. Smart. Mm. And especially the fact that she's Crazy, thinking very... Crazy, but smart. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody said it was a sane thing yeah. to do. Um, but I'm just saying, especially because of the, those really... The choice of really shallow breaths in between the very shallow the very short the very quick uh that also it's enough to keep keep you going but an enough to maintain it no, you know what i mean Is that i guess he also enough? has that secondary impact as well of like oh like uh, it, it sounds like, like a, a sigh yeah it's like you're sighing between lines yes yes yes, yes. see she's very delicate shallow Well, it's only a conscious choice because she has more in the tank. I love it. Hold on. So, <laughs> how do you say do? Huh? How do you say do? She says, do I love you? Oh, that's a good question. Go left. I don't know. Okay, so why do I love you? That's ba mahal kita. Ba mahal. That means do I? Do I? So the whole song, bakit ga? Bakit na ba? Bakit na ba mahal kita? Why do I love you? Mm. Okay, so ba means do. I wouldn't go as far as saying that, but okay, maybe. On. Remember that the structure in Tagalog is. It, of wording things is exactly the same way as we do it in Spanish. Yeah. So it's not how we do it in English. Oh. That is like the other way around. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh. So it's not. Oh. It might not be. Fuck. <laughs> I know. I know. I, know. <laughs> I thought I had a grasp on it. <laughs> no, the structure is like how it's structurized the literature in Spanish, not in English. Okay. Yeah. We even have the same kind of little bridges. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think you have them all over the world. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Which is certainly a... So much melody under it. Yeah, so much melody under underneath it all. Interesting study of delicate performance. Yeah. Of course, I guess. I guess it's certainly like a. This is probably the best environment to perform this type of singing. Mm, yeah, I would think so. Uh, I mean, I I even reckon if the bus was moving, this would already be a completely different story. I think so too. Because it's such delicate performance. Uh huh. And then, well, from what you're mentioning as well, of breath control and. Mm kind of putting yourself on the stressful situations and literally being on the last line of... Last thread of life, basically. Yeah, as you sing, because you're trying to portray that emotion. Fuck, I, yeah, I, I I would like to see other performances of her. I... To see also... Sorry, apologies. Mm-hmm. To see also, like... Um, it, it, you know, because it's interesting, like, this performance is very popular. Uh, so imagine you go, you know, very... This is kind of how people know you. Mm. Right, and then they maybe expect this again every time you perform. Um, and I don't know anything about Kakai Bautista, but she obviously seems to have other uh, skill, uh, other skill set, uh, a different skill set in the bag. But this is probably what would I say? This is probably like the most vulnerable way of singing, I would imagine. Yeah, and I most, think. Yeah, like. Delicate. Yeah, fragile. It, it's as if you were a little glass. Mm-hmm. About to shard into yeah, pieces. Yeah, so it's like. Yeah. 
dude, well, how do you do this all the time? 10 out of 10 times. I believe that this was a conscious choice of delivery given the environment. Like, you and know. The peace, maybe. Uh, not only the peace, I think you can deliver this piece in so many different ways and still maintain its fragility. But it, I think the way that we're seeing it right here is her taking advantage of the environment. Right, environment. Uh, I, yeah, I think so. Um, personally, I think she's a very capable singer, given given the little uh, hints of a full fold. And, and uh, obviously, that modulation just speaks volumes, right? You're not able to find modulation that that way that easily without without having a lot of knowledge and... and, and, and uh, repetition so yeah exactly so i i believe that the delivery we're seeing here is tailor-made for this environment like she 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 made a choice of doing this and by the way i wanted to make a point you know how you uh yeah the the how we were talking about tricking our 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 brain into thinking of the emotion like putting yourself under distress i think finding sometimes a uh the physical triggers come more naturally given that you know the piece so well so maybe she didn't even think about oh because of this shallow breath i'm gonna sound more vulnerable i think it's because she's so connected to the piece that she's able to then find the shallow breath if you know what i mean so it can work both ways i just went into to clarify that because I, I I got a few questions and it's like, is it possible to do it the other way around? And it it is. You, right, you okay. can you can access emotions before uh, finding the physical trigger, and you can find the emotion because of the em- physical trigger too. So it works both, both works, ways. Right. Yeah. Magmahal, she said that word. Imagine when you wait to work, you see a wish bus. Wow. So maybe it was just a rough song. What'd you call it? Management, energy management. I thought so too. Yeah, because bloody hell, that ending is nuts. That ending is hard. That last minute of singing is like going full out on the 12th round of a boxing fight. Dude, and if you've I... ever been in a boxing fight, like it's sprinting for a thousand meters. I, wow. And if you've never run a thousand meters, mm-hmm. staying underneath the water just past the minute. <laughs> it's at 30 seconds I'm already like is it a minute yet <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying <laughs> and if you've never been underwater just hold your breath for about 45 seconds dude the world starts looking all weird <laughs> bro psychedelics um, <laughs> just hold oxygen your breath. deprivation <laughs> um, yeah no I think that it's it's clever though it's, it's a really well paced song is it's a really clever delivery that is a difficult difficult song not a lot of people can do that she did master incredible fantastic i mean would love, love would love to know more about her she obviously seems as us there's also a specific in the individual specific individuals in which um you feel that they have uh, a lot of experience mm-hmm. you know so i'd love to know why you're laughing so i'd love to know i'm being serious here man not everything i do is comedy it's i'm serious <laughs> uh, 
Mm-hmm. Why do you have this anyways? You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> why do you have that thing? Ephra, continue. Make your point. Hey, she seems very experienced. That's what I'm trying to say, right? She says, why do you have those little stuff? Ephra, <laughs> for, you know, for fashion. All right. Uh, yeah, so she seems very experienced. I love to know more about Cabo Bautista. And goodbye. Do you like the little circles? Stop. 